Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi My name is Adil from the Chronicles of Faith team in collaboration with The Daily Reminder, bringing you the ugly truth. Assalamu alaikum. Now, who here wants to get married? Put your hands up. All right, everyone watching this video, put your hands down. We know who you are, all right? But seriously, marriage is a very important part of Islam, and so it's only normal that a lot of young Muslims want to get married at such a young age. Especially when you live in such a hypersexual society that makes haram relationships so easy. However, a lot of us peeps don't actually go about it the right way. Now here's what I mean. Oh, that's a brother. Let me try again. What's up, Tamara? Um, I'm playing marriage roulette. Mm, what's that? It's very simple, right? See the list of people here? You close your eyes mm -hmm. and you point somebody random. Mm -hmm. If it's a sister, you marry her. If it's a brother, you, you marry try her. again. Hi, bro. Oh, why do you look so happy, man? Man, I'm gonna propose to Salo right now, man. Can't Allah, wait. Allah, I, Allah. I just don't know what kind of flowers to get her though. Get her some red roses, bro. That's her favorite red flower. Red roses. Yeah. How do you know that? <laughs> Facebook. Really? Yeah. Facebook. Huh? What, what kind of flowers does Khadija like? Actually, she doesn't like flowers. She likes shoes. Pink shoes. Dude, what is that on your face? Oh, it's tape. It's tape. Uh, because you know the first look is free and the second one's from Shaitan, so I made sure I don't blink. You're an idiot. Assalamu ah! alaikum, sisters. I'm sorry to disturb you guys. Um, I just came here to remind you that today is a Monday and it's very recommended to fast. Um, even myself, uh, yesterday when I was praying Qiyam al Lail. Uh, and making istighfar during my du'a time, I was wondering whether to fast or not, and I was like, "Hey, Abdul, since you're a hafiz and you went to Hajj, it's not befitting of you not to fast." So, uh, in conclusion, uh, <laughs> which one of you is single? Okay, brother, you lead salah. No, no, no. You're more pious. You have a longer beard. You should go. And to apias. No, no. What? what? Is that salah? Uh, I think it's it is. Uh, uh, Never mind. I'll, I'll leave. I'll, I'll just review. Uh, I'll, make I'll make it done. I'll make it done. Allah. 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 So, Sister Nafisa. Um, there's a brother Omar calling. Uh, you know, from the MSA. I uh, hope you're doing well, sister. Yeah, alhamdulillah. Uh, I wanted to know if you would be willing to come over to my house to get married. I had to uh, work on the MSA stuff with me, inshallah, because it's very important. We have some deadlines. No, um, most of the schools are closed that day, so I guess you'd have to come over to my place. But it's totally cool, inshallah. My mom will be there. I'll, I'll call my sheikh friend in case you want to get married. Uh, in case we want some advice from the sheikh about the MSA issues that we're dealing with. So, you're down? Alhamdulillah, it's amazing. Okay, inshallah. So, I'll, I'll see you on Saturday then. No, take your sister, inshallah. I love you. Uh, for the sake of Allah. Now there are tricks and tips that you can use so that you can make things a lot more halal. For example, always make sure that there's a mahram present just in case your emotions get the best of you. Remember that the Prophet ﷺ said that whenever there's two people from the opposite gender that meet each other that the third one is shaitan. Also, don't start your relationship on a bad foot because if you do, then in the end there's not really going to be any blessings in it. That being said, be careful when you're trying to meet your potential spouse. That's all the time we have. Now don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. And once again, don't forget, keep it halal.